All right, let's get practicing in QuickBooks Online. Grab the link below in the description so that you can follow along. All right, here we are in the QBO Gym. And the QBO Gym is a place where we have numerous exercises that simulate real life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Every single month, we come out with a new set of exercises for you to practice and complete, and we break it down for you into four different sections. So today, we are going to be working in the September warm ups section. At the top here is a little video that tells you what you're going to do that month for Craig. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive quiz that relates to the video that you just watched. And then at the bottom, we have all of the exercises in that section. So today we are going to practice adding a vendor credit. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you used for the previous exercise. If you have not done that one yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to the first exercise, the following one, and then this one, which is the third exercise in the series. Complete those and then come back to this one. So our scenario today is that Craig was thrilled to receive a special $500 coupon in the mail from Lee Advertising for a website design. He needs a website. He contracted with Lee Advertising for a new website and was billed $2,500 or $2, for the new design. So let's record all of these transactions. We're going to start with the coupon first. So in the left hand nav bar, we're going to click on the plus new button and then select vendor credit. So here I am in the sample company. I am on the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. That's why it looks this way. So we're going to get started by clicking on the plus new button on the left nav bar. And then under vendor, we are going to select or vendors. We're going to select vendor credits. And now we need to go ahead and fill it out. So the vendor is going to be Lee Advertising. So in the vendor field right here, click into it. You can either start typing Lee or you can um, scroll down until you find Lee Advertising. In the category field, we are going to put advertising. This is the correct category to use as because it is the same account we will be using for the website design expense. So category field, we will select um, advertising, click into it two times, and there's advertising right there at the top. The description field is going to be coupon for website design. So we're going to type into it, click into it, and type in coupon for website design. And then that coupon again was $500. So we're going to enter that in the amount field. So click into the amount field, type in 500. If you tab over, you will see that QBO has captured that for you. And now we're just going to go ahead and click on the green save and close button. And that credit has been saved for us. Now that the credit has been recorded, we're going to enter the bill for the website design services. So in the left nav bar, we're going to click on the plus new button again and then select bill. So here's the plus new button. Under vendors, select bill. And now this form will appear for us. We're going to go ahead and fill it out by putting Lee advertising in the vendor field. So click into it. Again, you can start typing in Lee. I'm going to do that this time. And you will see Lee advertising coming up. So click on that. In the category field, we are going to select advertising. So click into the category field two times and you'll select advertising. And by the way, if you have any of this information up here for um, uh, from the vendor itself, they have terms, maybe like whatever their net is, um, how many, you know, how many days that you need to pay it, the bill date you would find on the bill itself. And then the due date would be reflected based off of the terms. And if they have a bill number, you fill that out. Any of this information that you may have, I would highly recommend putting all of that in. Um, it's always good to have all of those details in any kind of transaction, but for the purposes of this exercise, we don't have any of those things, so we're just gonna leave it as is. So let's go back to the exercise. Um, we filled in the category field as advertising. In the description field, we're gonna type new website design. 
So click into the description field um, and then we're gonna type in new website design. And there that is. And the amount that they are billing him is $2,500. So that will go in the amount field. So click into that field, type in 2,500. If you tab over, you will see that it's captured by QuickBooks. And then we're just going to go ahead and save and close. So down here where the arrow is on the green button, click on that and then click on save and close. And now that bill has been saved. All right, so the last thing, um, now that we have paid the bill for the website design and use the coupon, um, we need to pay it, I'm sorry, pay the bill for it and then use the $500 coupon to get that discount. So once again, on the left nav bar, we are going to click on the plus new button and then select pay bills. So the plus new button right here and then under vendors, click on pay bills and this will appear for us. We are going to look for the one that says Lee Advertising and click on the checkbox next check box next to it. So let's do that. Here is Lee Advertising. We're going to click on that checkbox. And you will see as soon as we click on that checkbox, the credit that we created before is automatically updated here and it's being applied to the payment. So the total is now 2000 versus that 2500 2500 minus the $500 credit is that $2,000. So we are just going to go ahead and click on save and close at this point. Click on the arrow on the green button and click on save and close. And now that bill has been marked as paid. But let's just double check in the vendor account to make sure that that credit was indeed applied. So if we go to the left nav bar and we hover over the expenses, we will click on vendors. So in the left nav bar, if you hover over expenses, click on vendors. And now this will appear for us. And we're going to scroll down until we find Lee Advertising and then click on that one. So if you scroll down, scroll, there is Lee Advertising. Go ahead and click on the blue link when you hover over it. And you will see their vendor, um, vendor profile appear. So let's take a look at all the transactions here. We will see that we have that $500 vendor credit, that is the coupon. We have here the $2,500 bill for the website design, and then the bill payment itself that um, after that $500 credit is applied, we have 2,000, um, which is what we paid, and that is how you handle a vendor credit. And if you have any questions or want to know more about the QBO gym, just go ahead and click on the link below in the description. Be sure to leave this session of the sample company open as you will need it for the next exercise in this section where we practice recording expenses. And I will see you in the next video.